density, mass, and volume is our topic for today. So welcome to Mr. Academia YouTube channel. I remember to subscribe to our channel to get notifications for all our videos, share, like, and comment to enjoy the best out of our videos. Uh, we are going to look at density. If we start by defining density, uh, density, of course, it is the measure of the mass per unit volume of the material. So meaning that we have to involve the mass of the material and also the volume of the material. And it is given by the formula density is mass divided by volume. Uh, mathematically, it is written as D equals M out of V or divided by V, where D is the density, M is the mass, V is the volume of the material. Uh, we use the triangle here to remember the formula for density, uh, that is relating density, mass, and volume. This triangle here, it directs us how we can remember them properly. And, and we basically can use this by just covering up what we want. For example, uh, if you want density, uh, if you want density, we shall have to cover density. If you want mass, you shall have to cover mass. If you want volume, then it means that you have to cover to cover volume to get the formula for finding the volume. For example, in this case here, we have covered uh, the mass. So we remain with density times volume. That means that mass is given by density multiplied by volume. Uh, if, if then, uh, if we want something else, you also cover it. For example, now, if I want volume, I'm going to cover volume. So if this is covered, then it remains with mass divided by density. That's why volume is mass divided by density. So whatever you have uh, is from what you cover or what you cover gives you its formula. Uh, if you look at some of the examples, a steer, a steer gada weighs is kilograms and has a mass of 100 meters cubed. So what is its density? So meaning that we are calculating its density. So the formula for density is density equals mass over volume. That is if we cover density. And then if we substitute, we shall have density as 2,500 divided by 100. And that is 25, but still we have to put the units since the mass is in, the, the weight or mass, the mass is in kilograms and then the volume is in meters cubed. So that means that the, the units for density are kilograms per meters cubed. So we always have to put units for density and in this case it's kilograms per cubic meter, so meters cubed. Yeah, thank you for... Thank you. 